Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honorable colleagues, I rise today in advance of the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, which is a direct outcome of the courage, determination, and advocacy of survivors. On this solemn day, Turtle Island is called to honor the Indigenous children who needlessly and senselessly suffered and died at Indian residential schools, Indian day schools, and associated sites. The government, churches, and broader society told generations of us that we were less valuable, less worthy, and less human. To them, we were savages who would amount to nothing. These, of course, unfounded racist and dis discriminatory beliefs. However, when forced to be ashamed of who we are and where we come from, it is a lifelong journey to believe otherwise, especially when some still do not see us as equals. Colleagues, I'm proud to say that despite the atrocious ways Indigenous peoples have been and continue to be treated, we have endured, resisted, and survived. We have been here since time memorial, and we are not going anywhere. While there's still progress to be made, I am hopeful for our future. I look up to my daughter, Kateri, and granddaughter, Kiara, who are here today and cannot think of a better legacy. I know our children and grandchildren will help ensure that the true history of our shared country is never forgotten. It is them who will lead the work to help our people and communities recover, rebuild, and prosper. At the same time, colleagues, my heart is heavy because after decades of fighting to be heard, believed, supported, survivors along with our families and communities continue to be subjected to the violence of indifference and denial. There are those who, for example, seek to reject, minimize, and even ridicule what happened to Indigenous children while in the care of state and churches, including their burials in unmarked sites. In addition, barriers such as a lack of access to records and sites continue to prevent families and communities from finding answers. These are some of the pressing issues that are undermining the ongoing search for truth, justice, and healing. Honourable colleagues, on and around September 30th, I sincerely hope you will all take time to learn, reflect, and participate in educational and commemorative activities. As an institution, we must take re responsibility for our role in the past and ongoing harm inflicted on Indigenous people and work every day to meaningfully address it. Well, Alan, thank you.